Now how's this? The shaft, two inch shaft coupler snapped right in half. Major force. Here's the joint that cracked in half. That's two inches across. Here's how the new joint is going to look. Much stiffer construction, not relying on the shaft itself for the actual support. First, mark out the hole for the bushing here. Just uh, mark the location. I just use a screw to etch. Yeah. I'm cutting out holes for the gussets here. These are the gussets, the supporting structure for the, the shaft. Here's how the coupler is coming together. The shaft slides inside into the bushing. Here's the joint. We're ready for welding here. This is how it will attach to the tractor. This is the rotating pivot for turning left and right. Here's the tractor, generator, welding equipment, and well. Halfway through, need a new spool of welding wire. Okay, here's the joint on the tractor as installed right here. And the shaft for rotation will go through it. So this is the tractor. Okay, now this is the result of the tooth bucket. You see that the bucket pretty much goes right into the ground. It was a few passes, but I'm digging right in there and the teeth are working extremely well. We dug about five tons, then it started raining. Try to cover the site with plastic. Now here's an anomaly. It's nearing November and this apple tree has flowers all over it. And just came up to life. I mean, it was hibernating. <laughs> that... <laughs> I mean, this is like Guinness Book of World Records. I don't, I don't know. This might be... Well, let's just say it's extremely exciting because it breaks all rules and it shows how there's exceptions to everything, which is total inspiration.